Welcome to the business meeting. In order to be recognized, you need to stand. Those of you who are uh, unable or uncomfortable standing, um, we will give you a yellow card that you can wave. Does anyone want a yellow card that does not have one? I do not see any hands. To speak, you need to come up to one of the two podiums here and speak. Those of you who would rather have a microphone run to you to speak, we ask that you sit close to this aisle so it's easier to run the microphone to you. The cart operator has reduced the font size on the screen over here since yesterday. If you cannot read it, please come closer to the front. If you still can't read it, talk to me and I will talk to the cart operator who has said she'll be happy to adjust it. Thank you. Also, if you just came in, we have a new piece of business for today. Please sign in, take the new piece of business, and if you didn't take an agenda yesterday, take one today. Thank you. All right, two minute warning. We'll be in session in two minutes, so tidy up getting your coffee at the back there, provided, I believe, thanks to Google. Yay. And get your agendas and your sign ins. Thank you. So. We're starting at 10 11. Thereabout. to change the name to Ursula, mm -hmm. the young adult. Well, he was in contact with Ursula's family. It's a yeah. bit of a boy, so I thought it might just be nice to, to you know, the journey he died. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, well, we are not doing that for another day, so I think we can do all three of them. The CD is the end, so. Yeah. Okay, in session. Um, people sitting in that section over there, between me and the light tower, you may have difficulty getting recognized. <laughs> if you want to move slightly away from the light tower, because that's right in my eyes. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take things in much the same order I did yesterday. There are no further financial reports. We have uh, three bits of committee business. The first of which is the uh, Mark Protection Committee elections. If the, uh, steward, the, the sergeants at arms would care to distribute ballots amongst the uh, assembled multitudes, please. They should be marked within preference. One for your highest preference, two, three, and uh, four. We will count, collect them up probably at the next recess and somebody will go and count them. Don't forget the top table. We'll try not to. <laughs> right. Yep. Pricking your finger and writing in blood is also acceptable. <laughs> right. Is there anybody here from the uh, World Con Runners Guide Editorial Committee who could give a report? 
seeing none, and we'll continue that to uh, Sunday. Is there anybody from the uh, Folly Committee? <coughs> Thank you. Hello, Kent. Uh, hello, Tim. Um, my name is Kent Bloom, and I'm one of the members of the committee. My name is Kent Bloom, and I'm one of the members of the Folly Committee. We continue to curate the long list to make notes and, and, and corrections and additions as world cons continue. Uh, we're currently uh, looking for links to websites for um, previous world cons that have disappeared from our radar. So if uh, we don't have a link to your website, please email Mark Olson uh, with, the, with, with the current link. Uh, that mostly applies to really old Worldcon uh, links, which tend to go away. And that's basically it. We would like to move to, re to uh, uh, continue uh, the committee as, as uh, currently constituted for the next year. Is there any objection to continuing the Folly Committee as currently constituted? Seeing none, it is so continued. I do have one thing about the Hugo Awards Study Committee. We continued it yesterday with uh, Cliff Dunn as chair with Power to Hire, Fire and Co-opt. He has asked that we extend explicitly the remit of that committee to include all of Article 3. Is there any objection to doing so? Seeing none, the remit is extended. Thank you. Yep. Petrea? Um, is the, does the, uh, uh, do, Petrea Mitchell, does, uh, is there any information that uh, can be given to us about how to volunteer for the committee this year? There will be a sign-up sheet at the end of this meeting up here by the front desk. And Thank it's, you. it's Cliff standing there next to Terry, who is the actual person you see. Right, we have one new standing rule change because when we made a change yesterday, somebody spotted that there should have been changes elsewhere in the standing rules. Can we have that? Can I have a last call? Yeah. We think we've handed out these ballots to everyone who wants one. If you want one and do not have one, please raise your hand. <laughs> that oh, all right. <laughs> Accept them. <laughs> and can you run one down to the gentleman in the... Thank you. Now, can we get some up here? Yeah. yeah sure. Right. Uh, essentially, this one was proposed by uh, Cliff and Kate again. Um, it ex the deadline for submission t for new business was extended yesterday from 14 to 30 days, and we realised that uh, that deadline is still in four, rules 4.4 four and 4.5, and so we had a quick email exchange yesterday and drafted it so it actually refers to the deadline directly so we, next time we change it we won't forget. Uh, I have a question. No, go Point. Uh, it just says vote for three of the following but this should actually be a, a preferential uh, It should be a preferential no. ballot. It is a preferential yeah. ballot? It is a preferential ballot. One, two, three. Oh, okay. So you should number the uh, candidates you wish to support in order like write one by the one you like the most and two by the next and so forth. Don't just put X's by them. All right, does Kate, Cliff, do you want to speak to this motion? Time. Oh, sorry, yes, five minutes for this, okay? Seeing none, five minutes. Hi, I'm Kate. Sorry, y'all. We screwed up. I missed a spot. Um, so what we've done is, uh, instead of having explicit deadlines for committee reports and financial reports and the agenda um, that are relative to the business meeting, we just said, tie everything to the deadline in 2-1. And, and now it's all just very consistent. Everything is due at the same time. And there's a deadline for the agenda that's related to when things are due. That's it. Thank you. Does anybody wish to speak against this motion? Ben. 